Bound for Glory 2017 no longer being held in the impact zone. Where will it be held? This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. You might want to get your little turkey gobbler thing. So today I was sitting at work. Um, it was lunchtime. Kind of sat down, turned on the YouTube, and I got the notification uh, within a, just a few minutes of upload about where will Bound for Glory be held. My first thought looking at it was like, okay, how ridiculous is this? We already know it's in the impact zone. Why are you teasing us with this kind of nonsense? The video that I saw, I don't know if there's additional ones. I know there's some additional images, but the one that I saw teased the UK. Now, we know the UK is probably not a realistic possibility. The realistic possibility that seems to be floating around right now, though, is Canada. Now, I think Canada makes a lot of sense. Anthem is obviously based out of there. A lot of the wrestlers are from there, especially the knockouts. I can't think how many of uh, the guys are offhand. I mean, uh, Petey Williams, obviously. Other than that, I'm not really sure. And then uh, I think Scott Demore has a uh, school up there, if I'm uh, not mistaken. So lots of connections there in Canada. So if that's where they end up holding the event, I think they can do very well on the attendance. Even if they got to comp some tickets, whatever. I think they're going to do a good job. If you've heard my GFW live report where I sat down with people who were actually at the live events so that you could get the truth instead of listening to the dirt sheets, we talked about how they monetize the event. The problem with the impact zone is, and I don't have a problem with the crowd like a lot of people do, and I think they really stepped it up for this set of tapings. I think everyone can agree with that. But the problem, so say you know, you do a Slammiversary and you pack out the building at 1100 Granted, there's a lot of people who purchase the VIP passes, but inside the impact zone, because it's on Universal Studios property, they can't really monetize the show. They can't sell additional tickets. They can't sell their merchandise there and they can't even have a concession stand that I mean there is a very small one that they have there but I think it's ran by the park I don't think they have anything to do with it I don't think it's anything that they make any kind of money off of so that is one of the the problems with the impact zone is because they can't really get they, the only creative way they can monetize it is the VIP passes now we talked about a GFW live report maybe maybe one show had you know, 450 people, the other had 650 people. But we talked about how they monetize all of these individuals with the upsells, upselling the VIP passes, upselling the professional pictures that developed right then and there with the winners of the main event, and obviously the merchandise. There's a lot of creative things that you can do. So even if the crowd is not necessarily huge, there's creative things you can do to still monetize it. Now, are they... Are they going to still film in the impact zone in the following days? Well, if they do in Canada, I could find that logistically being almost impossible to do. If they do a spot like Tennessee or something, I could see them doing the pay-per-view and then going over to the impact zone. I do feel really bad, and as much as we want to say that the impact zone is very spoiled from having the product there, because they are, and that's not a dig at them, but that's just, you know, common sense. It's the truth. Uh, they're so used to having it there. I do feel bad because there are some people I can I can tell you three people off the bat <laughs> that bought tickets um, to go there. One one I think was from the UK. So uh, this apparently was a last minute change, but it's a really positive thing because if they're able to film Impact there and it's not in a not not on a sound stage, and they're able to monetize during the week of the Impact tapings, I mean that's a that's a really positive thing along with the global wrestling network i mean it ends the year on a good note i think bound for glory is really going to be good too i think when jeff jarrett you know was involved with slammiversary there was a lot of bells and whistles for bound for glory i don't i don't i don't envision the same bells and whistles i envision more of a we're going to put on a great wrestling card with what we have um but I think it's going to be killer. I thought the show, I thought the last two years in a row was excellent. And I think this is going to be the best one yet. So I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited to see them moving out of the impact zone for a pay-per-view? You guys have been asking for it. Everyone's been asking for it. So now they're doing it. Now they're stepping forward, making the decision. And I guess we're going to find out on Monday exactly what that decision is. But it's been all but confirmed that it's not going to be in the UK and that there's a strong possibility it'll be in Canada. It just depends on what they think they can do 
in the following days with the impact taping. Now, apparently this is something that was kind of last minute. So that's what kind of tells me it's going to be in Canada because I'm sure that Ed Nordholm has connections there to make something happen fairly quickly. I mean, Bound for Glory is not that far away. And usually you want to book a venue a lot further out than, you know, um, a couple months. So I want to know what you guys think. And uh, are you excited for it? Are you excited to see them branch out and try something different? You never know unless you go and do it. And the GFW live events was a major step forward. And now this is going to be a major step forward too. Guys, this is BQ. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're talking Global Force Wrestling just about each and every day. I'm probably going to be taking a break this weekend. Got some plans with the wifey. So unless I do some content um, ahead of time and, and uh, schedule the uploads, probably take a break this weekend and uh, pick it up again Monday. Talk to you guys soon. Can't wait to read the comments. Peace.